Hey everyone, welcome to a shorter video this week because somebody asked me about coloring lines and if I could talk about that. It's always good to refresh our memories. So let's talk about those lines and how to color them. All right, here is our airplane. Uh, as per usual, we have lines, we have an orange cockpit and the actual colors. Orange cockpit is a clipping mask and I want now to color the cockpit area here uh, nice and orange, like a red tilt, just to make it pop a little bit more. Now, how do I color lines? That is the question. Of course, you could go over it, choose yourself a nice red, and then draw over it, but this is obviously not working. What we want to do is look for layer properties, and this, for example, it says lock. So these are different things that you can lock. That you can lock. What we want to lock is this one. And if I leave my mouse there for a second, it says lock transparent pixels. Pixels. So lock transparent pixels. Which, when I push this, it means that all the pixels here on this layer are locked. So let me demonstrate that on a separate layer. So new drawing. So I'm just going to draw this sort of box here like that. And now I'm going to lock the pixels. And if I choose a different color, see, I'm pushing, but nothing happens. But if I'm pushing above the pixels that already exist there, now I am drawing on these. And this will make your life quite a bit easier. So on this lines, I'm going to lock it. I'm going to just color pick this red and I'm going to push it a little bit more towards the dark and the fully saturated. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I don't want to draw over all the lines. I just want to draw over the lines of our little cockpit here. Something like that. And everything inside the cockpit is also supposed to be a bit more red. Actually, here I could go a bit even darker. So it's close to that black that we have there, but not quite and see how it looks immediately a little bit more interesting, a little bit more lively. And you can do this with everything. Here is a quick face sketch from Pinterest, just because you guys know I cannot draw faces to save my life, so bear with me. But let's say I want, he has a blue hat, and I want this blue hat to pop a bit more, so I'm going to come to this layer, which is the lines layer, lock it. I'm going to take a more harder brush so it's easier to color. I'm just going to pick this blue and then push the saturation up and the brightness down a little bit. And now I'm just going to see how this works. And it could be that it is a bit too light, in which case we push the bark brightness even lower. And you can even combine two if you want to, but I think this blue sort of is nice because it's it is a little bit blue, but it is also dark. And if you want to play more with this, and many, especially in a, in a illustration field, do that, you can color his face as well. So face lines, I mean. So I'm going to take this pinkish. I'm going to bring down the brightness a little bit more saturation, not a lot, and bring the brightness down more. And then I'm just going to do these lines with this. And it already looks a little bit more natural. You can also come in here. You want to leave some of the darker lines, so the eyes for sure. Here maybe you can play with it. Uh, and then let's say you want to do the same. And this doesn't just work with lines, of course. Uh, here you saw me, this color layer for me was locked as well. So if I lock it and I say, oh wait, I want to, I want to color this, whatever this is with green. Now I don't have to worry. You see me, you see my brush going outside of the lines. But because I locked that layer, I do not have to worry about coloring outside at all. And then I can come in here and just add a, a couple of brighter strokes as well when I think where I think that the light hits. And I can also move the light or the color, the value a little bit lower to the yellow, just so I have just a bit of color variation in there. It's always nice to have a bit of color variation like that, as you can see. And then again, what you could do is take the layer and take this green, bit brighter, bit not brighter, but more saturated and darker. And then we can change these lines, watch out, every, not everywhere, to a nice green 
as well. And as I said here, in the, it's, it's nicer to have a darker color, so I'm going to go with a slightly darker green. So this is sort of how you can play with your uh, line colorings. And also, so you see that this is not just valid for Photoshop. I use here Photoshop, but you can do the same thing in all sorts of uh, drawing applications. Well, at least I think all sorts, at least all the ones that are of importance. So here is me uh, doing the same thing in Clip Studio and also Sketchbook. All right, here we have a little cube in uh, Clip Studio. And as you can see, we have a lines layer and a color layer. And we have the sort of almost the same as Photoshop. You can see it says lock transparent pixels and it even looks the same. So I'm going to press it. I'm going to choose a blue that is a little bit darker and more saturated, make my brush bigger and just fill it in. And as you can see, this already is quite a bit of change. All right, here we are in Sketchbook now. And as you can see, again, layer with the colors dog is crying in the background and layer with the lines and as you can see here also only two things and one of them is the same sort of pixely looking lock that says lock transparency we're gonna press it and i am going to take a hard brush uh, sample some of this green and maybe push it a bit more darker and saturated and make the brush bigger and now all i have to do is just draw over these lines and there you go. Uh, could be a bit darker. Let's pull this down. There, that, that works. At least in the shadows, that works better. So I'm going to leave this dark green in the shadows and the rest can be the light green. Uh, and this already is friendlier, not as harsh as, uh, as that black. I hope this video was helpful and you learned something new. If you have questions or comments, as per usual, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, as always, I love reading and answering them. And uh, yeah, the most important thing is that you folks have a great time. Keep on sketching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.